Hi Debbie and everybody, Moxie here. I'm um, going to try and address your problem, Debbie, which is you're creating a file in Hyperfont, but um, the stitch order is, is getting all messed up. So, blank hoop, I'm coming straight to Hyperfont, and I'm going to DEBI, and I've got it on Arial Bold. I don't know which font you're using, but it really shouldn't make a difference to the process here. I'll click next and go to column stitch because I wasn't sure what which one you were using and I'm going to say finish and there we have on the screen um, uh, Debbie so I'm going to let's zoom in a, a little bit so you can see what's going on and I'm going to say stitch it. So there we have by the realistic view, Debbie, and I'm going to go to the redraw. And at this stage, it isn't a problem. There's your D. Can't speed it up any faster. I'm sorry, <laughs> I've got it up on on the top there, and then the E. So that's I know it is not the issue, not the problem. What you said is that you had an outline. So I'm going to come into my outline edit and click the letter A here so I get back into my editing mode I'm going to come into um, my design embroidery settings and I'm going to select the running stitch outline it's already on fill underlay, edge walk stretch, short stitches, a density of three and my stitch type of satin and on a quick note here the last project that you did those settings will have held into the memory so if I'm wrong in what I'm saying here it could be because you have something selected here that um, from a previous project that is throwing it out but anyway I'm going to say running stitch outline and I'm going to apply that and stitch that and close and I'm hoping this is what you're talking about the word Debbie with an outline and but if you can see it's actually only in one block here at the moment so I'm going to go into my redraw design and I think this is the issue that you're having it's stitching out in blue the D and then it's going to change to white to do the outline then back to blue again and this is creating you lots of, of, of blocks so I'm going to stop that and I'm hoping that this is this is the problem that you're having. The thing is at the moment this is not an embroidery file it's everything's in one block here both colors and yes you can send this to your machine but it will stitch out exactly as it did in the redraw view there. What you have to do is save it uh, first so I'm going to do a file save design as um, this is this is Debbie for want of something else to call it and in the drop down I'm going to tell it to be an XXX OK and I'm going to close this do I want to save the FHE of it? well yes because if it's a file I might want to edit later um, I'm going to say FHE and, and go back so it's all closed out now I'm going to go to my file and there is my this is Debbie XX X, so I'm going to select that and open this time the embroidery file and now I've got as you can see on the screen eight blocks to create this where I only need two I need one block with the blue and one block, uh, block for the white so I'm going to come down to the bottom here and I'm going to select my D then I'm going to hold my um, sorry about that. Select my D. Then I'm going to hold my control key down on my keyboard and select the E, the B, and the I. So I've just selected the four blue blocks. I'm going to come up to my color choices here, and if you can see, I don't know why Singer does this. They're the same color, but the program isn't seeing it as the same color. Um, maybe so you can change it and keep it as separate blocks 
I want them all to be the same, so I'm just going to pick one of the blue here, it doesn't matter which one, and say OK. And then what I'm going to do is click on the D with my right mouse click, reorder and send it to the end of the design. I'm going to come to my E, right mouse click, reorder, send it to the end of the design. And you can see now it's putting them together. Reorder to the end of the design, reorder to the end of design. So there I have the DEBI all in one block. And now I'm going to do the same with the white outline. Um, the only reason it's showing black behind is because it's too light to show on the screen. So um, DEBI, I'm hit, held my shift key down and highlighted all of those. I'm going to come up to my color and pick just one of the four whites and say OK. And now I'm going to send this D to the end of design, reorder to the end of design, the B reorder to the end of design, and the I reorder to the end of design. So now I'm left with two blocks, the blue block and the white outline. So if I come into realistic and start um, drawing this out, it'll do the D, then it will do the E, the B, the I, and then come back and do the white border after. So I'm hoping this will solve your problem. So there's a D, E, B. Here it comes, I can't speed it up anymore. There's the I, and now there's the white D, E, B, I outline. And if I view that realistic view, there you have the D, E, B, I. Now, if it was me, obviously, where it's, I would change the start and exit point of, of where it's um, coming in and out of, uh, of the letters, but that, that's just your personal choice there. So, um, I'm going to come back to the redraw, and at this point, then you would save design, save it as the same one. It said, do you want to overwrite and replace it? Yes. So now, the if I close this, um, save it to FHE, I'm not going to in this case. But now, when I open up, this is Deb XXX, there you have your two color blocks. Well. I hope that helps, Debbie, and <laughs> if I did this all wrong and I'm on the wrong lines here, let me know and, uh, and we'll work something else out for you. And bye, everybody.